Good afternoon, this is the 28storms.com tropical weather update for Monday, November 7th. And hey, you know the calendar does read November, but the tropics can still be very interesting as you will soon find out. First off, starting with the gale force low in the western Atlantic, we've been talking about the potential for subtropical development here since November 2nd. And take a look at this. This is the latest tropical weather outlook from the National Hurricane Center. This disturbance is now being considered code red, meaning that it's got a 60% chance of forming into subtropical storm Sean within the next 48 hours. We now have the luxury of being able to look at the zoomed in floater imagery now that the Hurricane Center is paying closer attention to this system. And the latest visible obviously shows that convection is beginning to wrap closer around that surface circulation which is a very good indication that the system is becoming more subtropical with time and there is another look at the convection wrapping around the center if we go ahead and overlay the latest sea surface temperatures the system is well within the 26 degrees celsius isotherm and considering that this system will never be fully tropical in nature it doesn't even need water temperatures to be exactly over 80 degrees it can do fairly well even in sub favorable water temperatures this is a look at the latest water vapor and compared to j just 24 hours ago the moisture is really beginning to work itself into that mid to upper level low center so this system is well on its way to becoming a subtropical storm the latest cyclone phase analysis from the GFS model is also showing the system becoming more subtropical up until the time it becomes absorbed by a much larger non-tropical trough over the east coast in roughly 96 hours. The more regional water vapor animation shows the upper level low and developing subtropical system quite well here to the east of Georgia and we still have mid to upper level ridging over the mid-Atlantic states but see all the troughing coming across over the southern plains this is going to initiate all the severe weather this afternoon across much of Texas and Oklahoma but over the next few days this trough is going to continue sliding more toward the east and that is going to pull the developing subtropical storm more toward the north. This is the latest 12Z forecast from the GFS model and so far it looks to be fairly good in terms of its overall idea. First off, here's our developing system out here in the western Atlantic and then as we go into the next couple of days, here comes that cold front associated with the trough beginning to move into the central United States along with the Ozarks. And then as we go into 72 hours, so this is now Thursday morning, our system is beginning to get pulled more toward the north and then finally as we go into the latter part of Friday afternoon we see an enhanced threat of rainfall over New England and the Atlantic provinces of Canada. Now the one good thing for New England though is that based on the current setup it looks like the strongest pressure gradient and therefore the strongest winds are going to be to the east of this low pressure center since the high is located off toward the east over the north central Atlantic. But interest here across New Brunswick and Nova Scotia should be anticipating the threat of gale force winds as we go into Friday afternoon. Now if that's not enough, check this out. We have 99L Invest located in the western half of the Mediterranean Sea to the south of France. It's being initialized with a minimum central pressure of 1010 millibars with 15 knot winds. Now despite the water temperatures being slightly above average to the south of France, they're still not quite warm enough for anything close to a true tropical cyclone development but it is being aided somewhat by the much larger non-tropical upper level low dominating much of southwest Europe but despite that we still have a fairly potent low near the surface located just to the west of Sardinia and convection is wrapping around that low level center so much like our gale force low in the southwest Atlantic this system is somewhat subtropical in nature in fact the satellite analysis branch is initializing this system with Dvorak numbers of 1.5 and they are considering it to be subtropical. So what is in store for this system? Well this is the latest 500 millibar mid-level GFS forecast and once again here is that upper level low that is supporting the system to a significant extent and this upper level low is more than likely going to diminish in intensity because we have a much stronger system beginning to develop out to the west of Britain and as that upper level low begins to fall apart so will the surface low. And here is the forecast for the surface and the low will continue to meander about over the open waters of the Mediterranean over the next 24 to 48 hours but as we go into Wednesday and Thursday you see that it diminishes beyond any recognition. Now I don't fully agree with the latest Dvorak estimates that were just published within the last 30 minutes. These are now the updated figures 
and they're now 2.5 and 2.5 respectively. Not quite sure that it's really that much of a positive looking signature on satellite. And they also now have just a T in front of it, which would indicate that this system is fully tropical. I'm not sure that could easily be a mistake because this system is by no means fully tropical in nature. But this is just more proof that this is indeed at least a subtropical low that would ordinarily bear some watching, much like the gale force low in the southwest Atlantic, if this were closer to the hurricane center area of responsibility. So the weather never fails to impress, and we are always throwing a curveball here and there. And certainly we had one of those this afternoon with not only our subtropical system developing in the West Atlantic, but also this interesting low over in the Western Mediterranean. So we'll keep an eye on both of these features. They are interesting, even if they aren't significant threats to life or property. So we'll go ahead and have another tropical weather video update posted by sometime tomorrow afternoon. In the meantime, don't forget to check out 28storms.com. We have extensive coverage of the ongoing severe weather episode evolving over the south central United States.